Ladies and gentlemen, next bout evening is three rounds at a 73.5 kg bout. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, is man as a mixed martial artist, weighing in under 73.5 kgs. Fighting out of Samson MMA, presenting MAGA! As the bottom making his way to the cage, fighting out of the red corner, his man is a mixed martial artist, weighing in under 73.5 kgs. Weighing out of the Dublin Combat Academy, presenting Dennis! Next bout of the evening is in a 73.5 kg bout, proudly brought to you by Coffee and Kimura. It's MAGA Zora Pop out of Samsung MMA taking on Dennis Fringpong out of Dublin Combat Academy. Andrew, you know if a man walks through a cage with a beard and no moustache, you're in for a tough fight. Very much so. I'm actually really excited for this one. Dennis made a really good, uh, or, and actually conversely, if a man walks to the cage with a goatee like Dennis Rimpong, yeah. Yeah. then you know he has confidence about him. Yeah. But there is a seriously good matchup on the way here. I think this could be the most exciting of the night. Dennis made his debut. What was that like up in, in the in park? Incredible. Uh, I, I had the honor, I suppose, and the privilege of sitting with Dennis before his fight. We were waiting around. We sorted out the whole pandemic. Between me and Dennis, we got down to him. We knew what needed to happen. But outside of that, he got in the cage. He is an entertainer. He is a jiu-jitsu specialist. He is, he's, I'm a fan instantly after watching one fight. When I seen this one, I thought, I cannot wait to see this. Fring Pong is in the titanium gray. And Zuropop rushing in is in the red camo. <laughs> Big right hand on by Maga Zuropop and Wasted no time. Dennis Fring Pong in on that single. And Maggot certainly trying to be intense while Dennis wants to be calm and precise with his work. That was just slightly low. Fring Pong waves it off, but I know of Dennis without knowing him just through seeing him at so many jiu jitsu tournaments yeah. over the years. But I'm really excited to see in the next while what sort of an entrance Kali Mahan and the yeah. rest of the guys at Dublin Combat Academy have. And there's so many MMA guys in different gyms in Dublin who are just like going to him for I, I, I've referred to to Colly Matten as the splinter of Muay Thai here in Ireland he's <laughs> loud we were talking about Will who will be loud and I'm like do you not know Colly Matten is corner in here tonight but equally so Shamrock in his corner it, it's Dublin Fight Academy is one of the best for striking you only have to look at Craig Coakley in my opinion the best striker who's come out of Ireland in, in, in recent years but, but oh, there's a the little hands. good boy. He done that as well in Falls Park and gets the takedown. Beautiful work by Dennis Fringpong. <laughs> Maga just trying to hold the posture here and not allow Dennis Fringpong up. He's driving that forearm across the chin and raising up Sarapov. Oh big God. right hands. Back to your feet, he says. And... Takes on there a bit of a telegraph right hand there by Zuropov. Shots while he was picking him up. That was a nice left. Guard. That was a nice right hand. Excuse me, boy Maga. Changing levels again. Dennis Ringpong and trying to negate that power shot of Maga. Oh, 
And that long teep as well. Nice head kick and Magazura pop putting pressure on. Trying to back Fring Pong up. Nice knee on the inside. Magazarapov leaning all his mass on Dennis Fringpong, trying to make him carry that weight. Mag is landing some really good shots here, but yeah. I have to say, Dennis Fringpong has a type of fluidity in there. He's locking the hands a wee bit. Of yeah. Oh, it just oh. head popped out. Has a type of fluidity that many fighters would be jealous of. To have that early is so hard. So good at changing his levels. And when he goes to the ground now, he's going to be comfortable enough changing between his guards, knowing he can get back up to his feet. Oh, Maga wants him up. Doesn't want to play that game. Both fighters throwing leg kicks in. Dropping low, pulls guard. Dennis Fringpong, big hammer fists. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice shot. Right. Yeah. And it's Maga who's in on the takedown and... Fring Pong has no problem. You can see Maga doesn't want to go down there. Yes, on, Heavy leg kick and nice right hand. Easy work, Maga. I tell you what, I have to say I love at an MMA event when not even people in the corner start going against each other. It's people who are not involved in the corner start going against each other. And you hear things being thrown from side of the room to side of the room. The ultimate possible shade that could be thrown at an MMA event. It's like passive cornering. <laughs> passive aggressive cornering. And it is a real clash of styles here. You heard both corners say, you know, he doesn't want to stand with you. And then in the Dublin combat, we had, he doesn't want to go to the ground with you. No. So, but you got to say, if Fring Pong look comfortable at stages, and you can see Magus Urabov has thrown a lot into these shots. Can he keep up that pace and, and that ferocity in his power that he's throwing at Fring Pong? And, can Fring Pong get it to the ground and utilize that BJJ, vast BJJ experience? I just love the way that he's uh, changing levels to try and get the takedown. The way he's moving back, he's able to bend his knees very easy. He's not like telegraphing shots as such. He's just able to flow into them. Oh, Yeah, that was almost a touch of gloves. It looked like he was going to use it to fire a right hand. And this is... Fring Pong straight away in on the legs. Look at that transition, Andrew. You're talking about fluidity. It's going to be a leg trip here. Shemrock calling to switch the double. Well, the trend of strong Liverpudlian accents continues here in Newry after last night's UFC as well. It's great to hear from the corner. Magazaro, you see, wants to set up that jab, but to fire that piston of a right hand behind it. But it is Maga who is on the front foot trying to put Fring Pong Ooh. down, and he's got to be careful missing them shots. I'd say he hurt his foot. 100%. Hitting that there because he's after hitting off the side of the door of the cage. Pace just lowers a little. Maga just resets, shakes his hands out. He is just looking for that big shot now. You can see in on the takedown, but Fring Pong will happily take that, Andrew, to, to try and grab a leg. Nice kicks. Goes high, using them long limbs. He's got to keep the hands up, though, Fring Pong. Chin a little high. In on that single. Turning the corner. Beautiful work. Watch him slither to try and take the back. Gonna get this right under hook out. It could help. Body lock tripping back towards us. Both fighters starting to feel the pace here. Oh. Nice step in knee there by Frank Pong. Just as Maga through the right hand. Thankfully, we don't have too many Americans tuning in tonight, Noel, because the amount we're saying MAGA might get a lot of them tuning out. <laughs> nice knee. Just got to be careful. Nice right hand as well. I'm liking that teeth that Frank Pond has thrown as well. Really driving the ball of his foot. Yes! Yes! 
Big head kick, and this is what Frank Pong wants. Off the slip, but he will take he's, it. He's looking for the leg drag position here. He just needs to get his left arm over that leg, pull it across towards us. How he's hooking his foot in behind there is going to be key here. It's going to keep Maga there. Maga doesn't have any more extension here. He's just fully up against the foot here. Nice swap from Dennis Frimpong. He's back into like a half butterfly guard here. Be interested in seeing him in that position for longer in the next round if he can get to it. Yes, Declan Larkin. I love it. A referee just telling the audience to keep it quiet. The canvas of the cage here. It's almost like Disney on Ice was here yesterday and somebody turned off the power. It's a little bit slippy in there. Yeah. Deck. He is wearing shoes, though. Is this Deck Larkin's first referee in assignment of the night? No, he's been in oh, there a few times. Yeah, right, well, yeah. We only noticed each other earlier on. <laughs> I haven't seen him in a while. It will be interesting to see what fighter has the most energy coming into this because Zoropov has been thrown with a lot of power. He needs that wizard, yes. He's put it in the right right position now to close off his back. I think he's going to circle out here. Yeah. Shamrock in his corner, screaming for a level change. Yeah, but when you're, when you're positioned up against that particular partition of the cage, attempting a takedown can sometimes be pointless because you're going into the two barriers. You need them against one of the flat sides. Nice step in knee, but Mag is thrown. Big hands here, not a lot of minute target. Beautiful angle and takedown. Zoropop not accepting it. Gotta watch that neck. What a fight. Living up to expectations, this one. Oh, Maga walked into that knee a little bit. And you can definitely see the, the output from Maga Zorobov hasn't been as active in the opening first and second round. Trying to punish the inside right leg of Frank Pong with knees. But there's that turn. Beautiful angle and nice knees by Frank Pong. He goes high. And there's that oblique kick. And Matt oh. there, in on the neck. Could be late in the fight here, as we alluded to earlier. The, the moisture and sweat on both fighters here. Yeah, it looks like he is under. He's he's trying to scale by wrapping the legs. If he can get up on top of this here, the head is higher. Yeah. Mag is definitely in a tiny bit of trouble. Yeah. Here. Close guard. Has Fring Pong left oh, enough? Lovely. Pops the head out, though. But again, interesting doing how you score that as a judge. It was Frank Pong who initiated the takedown. Yeah, definitely yeah. not a takedown. It was a it was a guard pull. I think no matter what way this one gets called out, both teams are going to be dissatisfied. Or one team, I should say, is going to dispute it. Frank Pong again looking for submissions. Oh, waited till he stood. Smart IQ there, fight IQ by Frank Pong. Calls him to the guard. Have we got a moment? Time is going to escape us, and what a fight. Respect, Shambo, both men. Leaving it all in. Such yeah. an intense fight. I have to say it. I hope these judges have blinkers on because if you listen to the crowd like they're professionals, yeah. they're not going to be influenced by what they're hearing. But, yeah. You know, you, you could cheer for anything but not necessarily have cheered following a clean striker or yeah. clean contact. So 
I'm very interested to see how this one goes because I do think Dennis as a grappler is looking like he's coming into his striking very well. But uh, Maga was just kept walking down every shot. Could be a draw, Noel. That's what I'll go for, a draw. appreciation for both fighters. At the three rounds of action, we go to your judges' scorecards. Your judges' score is 29-28, 30-27, and 29-28. All for your winner, by unanimous decision, Fayel of the Black. 